Hi guys, Joe Majora with Desert Dimensions Properties. Today we are talking about negotiating multiple offer scenarios, specifically with regards to short sales. It's very clear cut when you're dealing with something that's not a short sale, a traditional seller, to say, here are the offers that we've received, here are the ones that offer you the best terms, this is the one that I'd recommend you go with. When you're dealing with a short sale, it's a very different scenario because really the seller is, is uh, going to be netting zero from your sale. So the, the, the point is not where can I get the most money or who's going to give me the best terms. The point really becomes who's going to actually get this deal closed, who's going to stick in there you know, with us when, when we've got a response from the, the lender or if we've got to delay things or we've got some challenge that comes up. Start with the basics. You really want to collect all the relevant information from each one of these offers. So I love to use Excel, put it in a spreadsheet, and you've got purchase price, you've got terms, you've got closing date, you've got uh, any other additional things that that buyer is asking for, whether it's a concession or home warranty or, or any other notes that you've got. What I want to know is, have these agents followed the instructions that I've put on my listing? Have they given me the, uh, the cleanest offer possible? Are they technologically savvy? Are they easy to reach? You know, I don't want to see an offer for my client that is handwritten that I can barely read. I don't want to see something that comes over in uh, 19 individual attachments that are JPEGs that are each 4 megabytes. That is not going to give me my best shot to get it to my client, present it to my, uh, my client's lender, and have this be a very clean, clear, easy to negotiate offer. So there are a lot of things that become about not just the terms of the offer, but actually about the agent, the buyers that are writing the offer, but the agent that's writing the offer for the buyers. Because really this is going to come down to me as a listing agent for, uh, it's going to come down to, is this agent somebody that's going to be there to work with me? If we have challenges, are they going to help me overcome? Is this somebody that I can rely on from a technological standpoint? Is this going to be my partner for this deal in getting this, this, this transaction done for my client? It's not just about purchase price. It really is about presenting to that listing agent that you are going to be the best agent for them to work to, work with. You're very clear, you're very concise, you know what you're doing, you have a very uh, high level of professionalism. These are the things that are really gonna make a difference for a listing agent who is evaluating potentially 10, 12, 15, sometimes even 20 uh, offers on their property. I'm Joe Majori with Desert Dimensions Properties talking about negotiating multiple offer scenarios. For more information, you can visit us online at www.desertdimensions.com. Thanks.